before I get started, I want to ask that you visit the link in the video description. That's a link to the 2010 Drummies poll that's put on by Drum Magazine. Um, OnlineDrummer.com is in the listings for best website of 2010, best drumming website. And if you would take the time to vote for OnlineDrummer.com as best website if you enjoy it, um, then uh, I would appreciate that. I think it's on the fourth page. You don't have to vote for all the categories if you don't want to. You can go ahead to the fourth page, click on OnlineDrummer.com, and um, that would be awesome. All right, on to the lesson. Make sure that you print out the sheet music called the Funky Groove. looks like this so that you can follow along as I'm explaining the beat. Uh, there are four numbers on here, and each number adds a little more to the beat. Number four is the actual beat. Number one is the most basic structure of the beat. So why not start on number one? I'm going to play this for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Now, if you've been watching uh, my lessons for a while, you know that I like to explain a little more about the beat rather than just how to play it. So I do want to point out that there are a lot of off beats in this uh, groove, and that's what makes it funky. We're accustomed to hearing the snare on two and four in popular music. Three and four and. Well, this one throws it in on some ands and even the uh in one situation. So look at the first measure. I'm just going to play the hands. First snare is on two, one and two and three and four and. Then you have it on the and. Next measure, one and two and uh. So those snares really drive the beat. They're very important. I'm going to play the second measure again, just the hands. One and two and three and four and. The bass drum, if you're having a difficult time figuring out where it comes in, just look at it in relation to where the other notes are positioned. You know that your uh, ride cymbal is playing straight eighth notes. So if it lines up with the ride cymbal, you're playing it with the ride cymbal. If it lines up in between two ride cymbals, then you're actually going to play it in between. But the ride cymbal stays at straight eighths. Number two says, fill it in with ghost notes. And a lot of times, guys will say, oh, yeah, just fill it in with ghost notes. And they play something that's really cool and never really tell you exactly where they're putting the ghost notes. I wrote in number two exactly where I play the ghost notes so that you can do that. But I also want to encourage you that if you want to add ghost notes in another place and uh, you want to develop your own groove that way, go for it. If you're not sure what a ghost note is, a ghost note is a note uh, with the parentheses around it, and that indicates that you should play that note very quietly. So I'm going to play number two with the ghost notes, and I want you to notice the difference it makes in the groove. In number three, we're adding the hi-hat on one, two, three, and four. And the reason we want to do that is because, like I said um, when I was explaining number one, there are a lot of off beats. And for someone that's playing along with the groove in a band or someone who's listening, it might be difficult to follow. By adding the hi-hat on one, two, three, and four, you're giving them something to focus on so they can follow the beat. And it also helps you to keep time. I'm going to play number three with the hi-hat on one, two, three, and four. And uh, it looks easy. It's not. I understand that. When I a started adding the hi-hat on one, two, three, and four to my beats, it took playing it very slowly at first and becoming more and more comfortable with it before I could just uh, do it without thinking about it. So don't get frustrated if you can't do it the first time. In fact, if you can do it the first time, uh, get pretty excited. Number four accents the counts, one, two, three, and four, even more by adding them to uh, the ride cymbal bell. Number four. And something I see Jim Payne do a lot with his uh, funky grooves is he adds the rim shot to accent, which actually sounds pretty cool with this. And 
And there you have it. That's a funky groove. And I'm going to ask again that um, if you enjoy OnlineDrummer.com, that you visit that link and go ahead and vote OnlineDrummer.com. It's the best website, 2010. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Keep drumming. <laughs>